okay? Like I said, all these Christians and the, and the contradicting theologies, if, if Jesus is real, why are there so many contradicting denominations amongst the born-again children of God, the true children of God? I'm not talking about the false Christians. I'm, talk, I'm talking about the true Christians, Armenians versus Calvinists. And each one of them believes God's Spirit is leading them in the, their way of thinking. The Armenians believe God's Spirit leads them to be Armenian. The Calvinist believes from reading the Bible that God's leading them to be leaving Calvinism. If Jesus is real, you would. If Jesus is real, you would expect everyone one who seeks God to come up with basically the same theology. Yet you have Christians who believe you. If you don't tithe. You're gonna sin. You're sinning, and God will take your money out of your hide some other way. He'll make you have to spend money. He'll make things of yours like your washer and dryer break down, so you have to spend the money of that. He, he, but if you read, uh, David Brousseau has a video about early church fathers. They didn't believe in tithing. I threw my hands up. If God leading them, why don't they, all the Christians from from the early church fathers to the Christians of the day come up with, with the same conclusions? Here's his, his, his. Hi, I'm Bill Weiss, author of the book 23 Minutes in Hell. In 1998, God gave me a life-changing vision of hell. Now, I received so many questions about my experience from people all over the world. One of the things that I'm often asked is, who did you see in hell? Now, I know there are others who claim to have had a similar experience and mention specific people they saw in hell. Some say they saw children, and some say they encountered celebrities. Some also share that they observed Christians who didn't tithe, or women who wore jewelry or colored their hair. Well, I saw none of this. In fact, None of those claims could be true because none of them are biblically accurate. Okay, about children in hell. There are born again Christians who will say there's no age of accountability. Jonathan Edwards said, talking about little babies and children who were not saved. Is a baby viper any less venomous than a, a adult viper? They believed, those old time Calvinists believe, Calvin, John Calvin even said, there are babies in hell a span long. Be dear, we will watch. I wanted to believe it, but can you show me conclusively from scripture where children will not be in hell? And. People go to hell only because they reject the saving name of Jesus Christ. Choosing not to tithe will not send a person to hell. Jewelry. Okay, there's a true God-fearing group of Christians did a Christmas message. And they said, if you don't tithe, you're robbing from God and no thieves shall enter heaven. Oh, forget it, forget it. Hair, makeup, or any type of clothing will not send a person to hell. These outward acts are not the reason people go to hell. The people I observed in hell looked like skeletons. They were nameless and faceless. I didn't know their history, their politics, or their skin color. I did not know if they were someone famous or a beggar from the streets. No matter who they were, it didn't matter. Each of them was truly alone amidst a sea of tormented souls. They have no purpose, no identity, and they are completely forgotten. Another thing I want to make very clear is that children are not in hell according to the scriptures. Jesus said in Matthew 19, 14, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he said in Matthew 18, 3, Except you become converted and become as little children. Okay, Bill Weiss. I'm 99% sure that your vision of hell is true. 
I'm, but I still have that one percent doubt. Didn't when God God says uh, Jesus says he's postponed his post and poet Peter he's pro uh, the Lord will come but he's uh, he's waiting for the former and the latter rains when the spirit came down and old men saw dream dreams and young jump men saw visions. But the word was confirmed by signs, healings. Jesus said, greater works than I do shall he do. Bill Weiss, you have, you, how, what right, why should I believe your story is from God? When I can go on the internet here and find other men like this man we're going to see here. Who cried when he talks about Jesus. He loved Jesus so much. He said he saw Adolf Hitler in hell. And you said, in hell, nobody has any identity. That alone, forgotten. Your story, start, your description sounds true. But what the hell right do you have to say that your, if if if, if God's gonna start doing this sign, uh, visions and dreams, I expect some miracles, some signs from people you. It, it, I I expect. Heal my body of this pain. Do some works greater than Jesus did on earth. If Jesus is truly speaking to you through visions and extra big, extra biblical revelations from God, I expect where where are your signs and wonders. When the Hebrews talked about when salvation was first talked about spoken about by the Lord. And it's impossible. Confirming the word with signs followings. That's the former reign. The latter reign. If Jesus, I expect if Jesus is going to be speaking by by spirit and dreams and visions. And I expect him to do the other part. The signs and wonders too. I expect those. And if I don't get this, why in the hell should I accept your revelation of hell? Is being true, when Mary Kay Baxter's revela divine revelation of hell and heaven, I've re I've heard that, I've read that. I don't know what hell and heaven are like, but I know from reading, but when I read Mary Kay Baxter's divine revelation of hell and heaven, I know heaven cannot be like that. And if it is, I'm so underwhelmed. How do I know these these visions are, are not produced by your own beliefs? Because. If these visions are true from coming from Jesus Christ and Jesus is real, I expect to be one to lead into one theology. Not leading some to believe in Calvinism, others to believe in Arminianism, others believe others you, you, know, you get the you get the picture. Now this guy right here. He says he saw cubes in hell. Like cells. I'm underwhelmed by it. I'm I'm part I'm partly impressed but partly underwhelmed by his vision of hell. You see, these people like him, Mary Kate Baxter, when they try to describe in their quote unquote divine revelations of hell, they sound like somebody trying to like a somebody like a amateur Wet behind the ear beginner trying to explain medicine better than a PhD can explain medicine. They sound like someone who does not doesn't know what it's really like trying to pretend they do. Trying to cut Alright, and this make me this makes me doubt if Jesus himself is real. Lord Jesus Christ, are you really real? Jesus Christ, screw you for all these contradictions. I'm in business. Screw you, God, for all these contradictions. Screw you. If you're speaking, if you're speaking by these men, I humbly ask, where are the signs and miracles? Where are the what about the verse of scripture? Jesus said, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, greater works than these shall he do. Okay, God. Time to put up your shut up. Where are you where are the miracles? If 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 we have to believe in your word, I I understand no miracles. But if you're starting to speak again, through prophets, and dreams and visions, I expect either a consistency 
a beautiful consistency that shows beyond a shadow of doubt that God is the author of these. God is the author of confusion and these visions of, of revelations of heaven and hell. I'm seeing from all these people confused are uh, uh, confused me. Confuse me. They're confusing. And if you are speaking through these people through visions and dreams, where are the where are the signs and miracles? Jesus, are you even real? Are you even real? Screw you for this. Screw you for this confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Really? What I'm seeing is dis underwhelming and disgusting me. Make, make me so angry. Are you real? Because if you're not real, Jesus, if you're not real, if I, if it, if it's in this life only we have, I have hope in Christ. I'm of all men most miserable. If I had to give up my dreams and what I love to serve you, and you're not real, I'm gonna be one pissed off somebody if I find out you're not real. I'm gonna be angry. I expect since. I, there's so much I can say, like about the atonement. Paul Washer says, "God, Jesus experienced God's wrath on the cross." But David Rousseau show, uh, shows the early church fathers believed that the atonement worked that that it was Jesus. Jesus was given over to the devil, but because he was God. The devil couldn't keep him and keep it, and because he was sinless, that could that he was able to forgive us our sins. So, Bill Weiss, I ask you, you shall not enter. I agree with you. A lot of these people want to have visions about heaven and hell. So, I don't believe. I don't believe all the other. Hi, I'm Bill I, I don't believe the other people's visions of heaven and hell. But how do you explain this man right here, the one I just showed you? And he's crying when he talks about Jesus. How can he be so in love with Jesus and be wrong about his visions? Be wrong about his near death experience. Or near death I don't believe in near death I don't believe in near death experiences. I believe there are little bonus before you die. I'm kind of wondering if there's even, even such a thing that places heaven and hell that last forever. From what I've seen, I'm disgusted. Bill Weiss, what authority do you have to give to us that your revelation or your dream, vision, whatever, your out-of-body experience of hell is true? When we got all these others... And they said the same thing as you do. Oh, you said you your says yours cons, uh, is consistent with the scrap Bible. Well, that's just too. Well, how is their vision inconsistent? How is that? How is that their vision is, is inconsistent with your interpretation of the Bible? But the Bible can be interpreted a million different ways. Whose fucking interpretation is right? Maybe I ought to kill myself and find out for myself firsthand. 